good morning. That's as happy as we're Did getting. Did you say good morning too? Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. That's as happy as we're gonna get Gabby in the morning. That's what she just said. It's as oh. happy, happy as she gets in the morning. She's gonna have some coffee, and then hopefully she'll be happier. That's because I have no coffee. She has no coffee. She ran out. Anyways, good morning. Welcome to Easter weekend on the Day by Day Farm. We have some stuff planned today. Good morning from little Mr. Toby and little Miss Macy. Yeah, say hi. Say hi. Hard to see them when they're in the window. They're trying to get the sun. Are you trying to get the sun, Toby? Toby had a bath this morning and he's looking fluffy. Looking fluffy. He growls. Listen. Oh, I don't know if he'll do it. Anyway, welcome to Easter weekend. I'm going to show you guys what I got my grandkids for Easter because I told you I would. And if you're interested, then stay tuned because I'm going to show you right now. Daughter, he's so <laughs> So Sam... He is 14 and older. Yeah, Sam bought Jacob this little airplane and Gabby's really upset because his daughter is really interested in this and he never bought one for her. He used to buy them for me all the time. I had a yellow one when I was there. Yeah, I remember. I didn't buy my dog anything for Easter, but when I am older, I will. And she'll be my little kid. She'll get, like, a bunch of dog treats. She's had so many treats when, and stuff over older, the years. How old is that exactly? 14. When you're 14, you'll buy her stuff? Okay, it's not mine. 21 because she'll be dead. You think she'll be dead when she's 21? Almost dying at 21. This one. So you're 11. No, when you're 21. Oh yeah, she'll be close to dying when you're 21. Okay, so 21. let's get away from these morbid thoughts on Easter. So Sam bought this for Jacob. I bought him a Superman drink thing for spring. He can attach it to his, whoops. He can attach it to his bike and drink from it. Yeah. I bought him some bubbles, some Smarties, some M&M's, some Kinder Surprise Boy eggs. Hey, get away from those, those are not yours. I bought him a pair of shorts. What brand is this? Um, Under Armour. Under Armour shorts. I bought him a <laughs> Under Armour t-shirt to go with it. And I bought him some Skechers. Who does not love a pair of Skechers? My kids only wore Skechers when they were little. I love these shoes. They are so super amazing. They are, what are they? They're dinosaur. Oh, and no. no, they're dinosaur, they're it says. Crocodiles. It says dinosaur it's on the a receipt. Crocodile. It says dinosaur on the receipt. It's a crocodile. Skechersaurs, but. Skechersaurs, I know. It's a freaking crocodile. It does look like a crocodile, but they're so super cool. I opened this thing. They seem like they're going to slide on really easy, and you know, because that's what kids like. And I love all the claws on the bottom. That's super cool. So that's all I bought for Jacob. I don't buy a lot of toys and stuff for Easter because the Easter Bunny comes to them and they have other grandparents. I try and buy them stuff that they need and a couple of treats. So that's Jacob. Even Daisy wants to see. Even Daisy wants to see what the kids got for Easter. So for Brooklyn, I bought exactly the same treats. Gotta be fair. I bought her pink bubbles. And of course I bought her water jug is unicorn because yeah, that's what we're all about in this family. Sam bought her this art gel. I don't even know what this is. Gel art paint. I bought her some shorts. These are called Rip Zone. And I bought her a light blue shirt to go with it. I also got Brooklyn some spring sketchers. So her mom likes them to have darker shoes because they get really dirty really easily. So, um,. So these are the ones that I picked. These are the only ones they had in her size, actually. They're like a rainbow psychedelic kind of color and they glow too. So this is the little bag that I got for baby Jack. I got him bubbles. The same water bottle I got for, Jack, for Jacob. I got him some Kinder Surprise eggs and some M&Ms, some Smarties. I got him this adorable little um, dinosaur hat, a bathing suit. I also bought him a shirt to go with his bathing suit because I thought that it was a good match and I like little kids to have to be covered in the sun. I got him this little short set. It says mom's main man and it's got shorts. And I also got him a dinosaur short set. It has shorts and this shirt and it says dino dude and Daisy approves. Because I didn't buy him shoes, I bought him a ball and some freezies that I think that he will like. And I bought him these letters. These are just from the dollar store, but he is obsessed with letters. He knows and recognizes all his letters. He's just two years old. And I thought that these are nice big ones that he could actually 
play with, put in order. His mom could figure out a way to help teach him with those. Baby Aria is just about eight months old this year and this is what I got for her. I didn't get her any chocolate. I bought her a little hoodie that has a unicorn on it. For Daisy, these are not for you. I got her a little mermaid bathing suit and the bottom half is like a diaper so that she'll be able to swim this summer. I bought her these little onesies that look like a dress or you could put pants underneath them and make it like a and make it like an outfit. There's three of them and it has like the under part that goes with it. Is there only three? Yeah. Three of them. Oh my god. And her mom said that she needed pants so I got her some spring pants, some little leggings, and I got her purple bubbles. So that is it, that is Easter for this year. Like I told you guys, we're going into lockdown tomorrow morning, tonight at midnight actually, and we're not act we're not able to have Easter with our family this year, and that's okay, I, that's okay, I get it. We're gonna get out of this soon, and then we're, I told them all we'll get together and we'll have a big dinner and we'll have fun, and the weather will be warmer and it'll be amazing, so we're planning on that. So, so Jacob and Brooklyn's parents, are stopping by a little bit later today before the lockdown happens we're allowed currently we're allowed five people inside or five people outside so i'm going to meet them outside i'm going to give jacob and brooklyn their easter stuff and then um their mom is going to take the other kids stuff to them so that is easter for the grandkids this year it's unfortunate i plan to have them next week for spring break and do a lot of videos and fun stuff with them but that is all cancelled that's okay Time's coming, you guys. Our time is coming. Um, so now that I've showed you what I bought for the grandkids, I want to ask you guys, what does Easter look like at your house? Do you usually have Easter? Does the Easter Bunny come to you um, until you reach a certain age? Does the Easter Bunny come to you until you leave your home and grow up? How does, Easter, how does Easter work for you? And what kind of celebration do you guys do? Do you have like a turkey dinner? What do you eat? How do you celebrate the Easter holiday? We're out now and we're headed to riding lessons. We stopped at the bank machine so that I could get money for our lessons. And there was a man, a homeless guy inside, just inside the door. So there's two doors to get into the bank and he was just inside the first door. And when I opened the door, I, I screamed because there was a man sitting there and he had a dog and he was very clearly homeless and so I told and the guy was so apologetic and he's like oh I'm so sorry and he's so apologetic that he made me scream I didn't mean to scream you guys know me I scream and so I told Sam to come in with me just because I did feel nervous like anytime there's a man inside the store and you're in the store is closed and you're the only two in there like I just so I made Sam come in and Sam stayed with the guy while I got my money out of the bank and Sam gave him money and he was uh, such a nice guy. Wasn't he so nice, Sam? Sam was talking to him, trying to give his dog treats. And so then I came out of the bank and then I gave him money because I felt bad. It's Easter and it just like, it's horrifying to see somebody not have some place. Like I'm, we're over here complaining that we don't get to spend Easter with our grandkids. And, and we see people who actually don't even have a home and they're like staying inside of a business. Imagine having to find a warm space inside the door of a business that stays open all night. Like, and to have a pet with him. And Sam's like, why do homeless people have pets? What if that pet, what if his dog is the only thing that's keeping him going? What if his dog, like, that dog was totally bonded to him and totally happy. And he says that the dog likes Timbits. <laughs> but anyway, it really touches home that we're complaining about being locked in and then there are people who are like locked in for life locked into a life that they don't have any place to live like it just was really sad and the guy was such a beautiful spirit he was such a kind person such a beautiful spirit like I feel glad that I got to meet him actually like I feel I feel like God puts people in your life for a reason a season and a lifetime and I feel like that guy's reason today was to remind us of how lucky we are even during the whole COVID situation because we have so much even when we don't think that we do. Not a horse in sight again. Could they all be taken off? I want to get out there. The girls are in the bathroom. I want to get out there first before them and see if they take off. I feel like they won't take off when they see me. I'm going to test it. You know it's getting warmer out when the ground turns to dirt instead of mud. I, th I see three horses laying down. Ours are over at the shelter. 
all our five together with Kaylee's. Oh, here comes Finn. Let's see what happens. They already know something's happening. They know I'm here. Oh, Finn. He's thinking about running. Hi, Finny Cake. Hi, Finny Finn. Gino's coming. Smart boy. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting your blanket off today? Yeah. Everybody making fun of your hair, Finn. Oh, you coming? Yeah? Chino, you had yours. Good boy. Oh, they're all coming. Hey, Chino. Hey, Stormy. I'm trying to hold Finn for a selfie. Hold on. Hold on. Don't be chasing me. Uh-oh. Sophie's like, grab him. He's not gonna run. Chino. Chino. It's okay. Here, Finny. Here. He's looking at her. So Sophie's afraid he's gonna make her run for it. There you go. Brandon's here. Oops. Brandon's here already. He's here. He's not running anywhere. If he runs now, it's a sign. Aw. Good boy. Good boy. I'm gonna give Tex a treat because. There you go, handsome. There you go. All right. Operation Collect the Horses is. Oh, look at Storm's going with them. Even though they're not taking them, he's going. Aww. Can't resist giving a treat to a kind horse that walks up to me and asks me kindly. Unfortunately, now he's following me. So I should have resisted. Okay, Brandon's here. Let's go see what he says about Finn's hair. I have a feeling he will respond differently than Fiona. That's some pretty fancy hair. Yeah, it's nice. It's beautiful. I love a pink haired man. Wow, and no facial hair? You look 20 years old. Um, do, <laughs> what? Still. I know, you are 20 years old, practically. Um, do you like Finn's mane? Yeah. Good. It just needs to be tamed. Just needs to be tamed. Looks like my hair on the daily. <laughs> okay, so, do you want water? I have water here. Sure, actually. Me too. I'm dying for water. We keep a case of water in our locker, because last summer, or last, year at the end of the year when it was last fall it was hot <sighs> i'll bring a couple look how crazy our locker got you guys wait i'll turn on the light look how crazy it got this is how full it is now but they try and keep it clean like there's a lot of stuff in there but they try and pile their stuff up there's four four horses stuff in here there but they try and keep it all cute like that's pretty cute i would say Brandon wants to know what you're working on, Sophie. Hurry up, talk and work. Um, I don't know. So what where have you been working on? Slowing down. So Sophie learned how to ride on a loose rein. Hopefully it will happen again today. She rode him, cantered him on a loose rein on the buckle for a long time. He was so relaxed and laid back. She's been jumping like a superstar. Good. So hopefully that transforms into this lesson too. So they all got their hair cut. Only Finn looks like this. All the rest look gorgeous. His is just a little thick. Yeah, yeah that's what I say. It goes back. It's just hair. That's what I said too. You know what Fiona said? Why didn't you ask me? I would have helped you. <laughs> you butchered him. But she said it in the kindest way. I think it looks fine. Yeah, I think it looks fine too. Actually, I like him better with short hair. I want to dye his hair. I want to dye it pink. You should. <laughs> how many, how many, uh, you took three steps to get that color? Brandon thinks we should sell Storm. Because he's registered. He, th <laughs> he thinks we could get $20,000 for Storm. Because the market's really crazy right now. It's like the same with puppies and dogs. So he thinks we can get 20000 And the girls are like, no. And I'm like, pack them up. <laughs> Just joking. Storm is ours. He belongs to us. All right, so Brandon found a fault. Gabby, apparently you did cut his forelock. Why you cut his forelock? Because it bothers him. It bothers him. It doesn't look that bad. It's not that bad. 
Okay, so Brandon doesn't care about the main, but he cares about the forelock. But anyway, so I didn't video it because I was out here helping Brandon set up this glorious course. But Sophie, I look over and Sophie's got being completely saddled up against that thing and just hopped right on. Like, how fabulous was that? How long did it take you? That's amazing. Good job, Finny Finn. Brandon's still going on about selling Storm. <laughs> Sell him. Lease him, Gabby says. Would you actually lease your horse? Probably. After the show season. After the show season. He hasn't even tried to get over there. I know. <laughs> what happened? He jumped? <laughs> look at her. All right, can I just point out, look at how... Uh, Look how loose her reins are. Come on, that's impressive. So many questions. Brandon has so many questions? You're gonna have to answer them. What did you tell him? I have to show Storm this year. Maybe we should just release him now then. Because then people no, can get ready. No, because I want to win stuff on him. Because before <laughs> I would never win anything at the show. So we were oh, I know, it's true. So, so he's going to kill him. Yes. Man. So I can't take him. Why not? She's finally at a spot with Storm that she feels like she could win. She's never had a winning year with Storm, ever. Like, she won one reserve champion. Last year you is when we... <laughs> we hurt your brains? You make my hair go pink. <laughs> Brandon has so many complaints today. All right, Brandon, let's list them. He wants us to sell Storm. Sam's talking about Mother's Day, and he's like, I'm going to go get you some flowers. I'm a horsewoman. Horsewomen do not want flowers for Mother's Day. I want a new bag of grain. No. I want a broom. <laughs> you want a broom? Well, that's what all the horse people need is a new broom. Yeah. I want a new bridle. So, all the horses are going in for supper right now. And Storm's always the last one. Isn't that interesting, though? Like, just like his owner. And I'm just, uh, oh, hi, little pony. You are adorable. You are. So, the owner of this barn says that he thinks. Storm's just out there doing his own thing. Takes a look around all of a sudden and realizes all of his friends are gone. And then he comes down. He doesn't care about his food. Gabby's the same. She could care less about food. Unless it's sugar. Hey! Hey! Oh, don't you dare. You gonna meet me home? Oh, good boy. Good boy! All right, let's... It is worming season. How much are they getting? You gotta read the instructions. You have to screw the thing down, right? All right. We have figured it out. We know how much everybody needs. Okay. Which one do I Every do? single time we deworm our horses, we have to like review the. You gotta go and review the dosage. Oh, hi, Gracie. We missed you today. We missed you. Oh gosh, you are gorgeous. See, Penny's staying away while these ones come to the door. It makes me wonder if somebody kicked her. Did, did you kick her? Okay, you got goo in your eye. Ah. <gasps> Oh no, not our pony. Gosh, you're cute. Uh, Sophie's gonna have to get back to training this mini and we're gonna start putting the muzzle on her because she got really chunky. Like so chunky. Okay, can I let them in? Yeah, All right, go ahead. Don't step on me. There's a treat in there for you, a big treat. Oh, goodness sake. Oh, well, hello, pretty princess. Let's see. Well, the bump on your leg looks less. I don't have any treats today, but it's nice of you to stop by. Well, she seems like a little better, actually. Oh, Gabby's already doing it. Good. Did you do yours already, Sophie? You want to do no, your horse? I yeah, I want to do my horse. No, is, I'll is film. It, <laughs> is it okay to film? Oh, yeah, don't let it do film it. a little. Oh, honey. She still feels nervous as a man in her stall. She loves food. <laughs> she loves medicine, so way back there. Good. Oh, what a good pony. No. She misses all her medicine that she used to get. See, she trusts us. <laughs> she trusts us with medicine. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, she looks good. Nice and clean and fluffy. Here, let me get it for you. Here, okay. You got it, here. Wow, I miss her. I miss riding her. I miss playing with you. Oh, that bump is going down a lot, but it looks like she's, uh, I wonder if there's a cut there. 
little tiny bump now. It's weird, she doesn't care if I'm in her stall. I've just been down here picking off her chestnut and they're really hard. Why do people pick off the chestnut? I'm gonna leave that one for another day, but I picked off this one, or at least part of it. And she's just here, putting her head down, relaxing, like this girl loves me. I didn't see her at all today, and she loves me. Like, every time I come back, like, I've never seen her so happy, you guys. Kinda grateful that she, like, did show us how unhappy she was when she moved homes. She did, she was able to say, like, I don't know, you guys, I'm scared. Um, and then, because then I was able to see, like, when she came around and she fell in love with us. But I love her. I just love her. Oh, I could just stay in here with you. Just stay in here, Penny Pickle. So that is it for today's video. We'll see you guys tomorrow on Easter Saturday. Uh, the Easter Bunny comes Saturday night. I think he probably does for most people. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?